Wayne LaPierre and the National Rifle Association have been saying that President Obama is going to sweep down and take everybody's guns since before he was even sworn in for his first term. Now, of course, this is already President Obama's sixth year in office. The number of guns that Obama has confiscated from law abiding citizens during the first five years, it's somewhere around zero. There's a little bit of a margin of error there, but it's pretty close to zero. It's not stopping the NRA from continuing to preach that the president wants your guns. The Daily Caller, which is a right wing website run by Tucker Carlson, put out a long paranoid fundraising appeal that was disguised kind of as an editorial. And in it, the executive vice president of the NRA, Wayne LaPierre, says 2014 could be remembered as the turning point in the loss of your Second Amendment rights. This year's elections will decide whether we stop the Barack Obama, Joe Biden, Michael Bloomberg gun ban machine and save the right to keep and bear arms or lose much of our Second Amendment freedoms for generations to come. And it doesn't take long for him to connect that to giving the NRA more money. He says, so I urge you in the strongest possible terms to renew or upgrade your NRA membership today because your NRA membership may be the only thing that can stop the Obama Biden Bloomberg gun ban bulldozer. President Obama is going to be out of office soon. Uh, he's really going to have to do the confiscation soon and quickly if he is really going to live up to this right wing expectation, unless maybe if there's enough people who join the NRA, then that will keep President Obama at bay somehow. Yeah, well, what they have to do is try and sell as many memberships and guns as possible because there could be a Republican in office next time. And th then this strategy won't really work. So well, you, you the, the other thing, right Lewis, then. is that this appeal only works if people truly believe that what matters most to their happiness and security and development as people is the owning of guns. And unfortunately, it isn't. Now, fortunately for the NRA, a lot of people want to believe what Wayne LaPierre is saying. So this will probably be effective if more people realize that gun ownership does not lead to self actualized and self realized individuals. It really doesn't. And hopefully most people who are on this gun fetishizing side realize that before it's too late in their lives to really have have uh, missed the boat. But uh, it, it really is sad. And the, the cries of Democrats are going to take your guns started at, at minimum. In other words, at least when Bill Clinton was in office. So we've had decades now of Democrats will take your gun stuff. And uh, um, I, I don't know Wh when is President Obama going to start taking the guns? I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe his last day in office. Maybe he's all just uh, I don't know. It's uh, it would be quite the stunt, though, if you could pull it off as quickly. Some presidents issue pardons on their last day in office. President Obama will just take people's guns. What will he do with them? I don't know, but he'll take them.